So our last step is we need to add the red border that's going to end our game. So we're going to go to backdrop, and we're going to go to backdrops, and we're going to modify it. I'm going to grab the rectangle, and we're going to go grab the red, and I'm going to take and just fill this bottom with red. Control Z. I want to make sure the outline is also the same color. I want to make sure it's the same color, so I'm using. The, I just drew a random rectangle. I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to draw my new rectangle at the bottom. Again, I'm going to use Control Zoom to zoom in, and I want to make sure they fill the entire bottom with stuff, and maybe make it a little shorter so the paddle's not inside of it. That looks good. I can now go to my code, and we're going to just tell. Oh, actually, we're going to do it inside the ball code because the ball is really the guy in charge when you think about it. So I'm going to do another forever loop. I keep going to control one of the events. And I'm going to say uh, forever if, and we're going to use the sensing, and we're going to use the touching color. We're going to hit the little block. We're going to hit the ink dropper. And then I'm going to select the red. And then under control, we're going to stop everything. So let's test it out one last time. The ball bounces off my paddle perfectly fine, makes the pop noise. And now if I touch the red, the game ends perfectly. So from here, I want you to make it an actual game, maybe add scoring. This is definitely not the best way to end the game. It's very crude because it just kills all the code. There's a lot better things you could do, but I want you to play with this and start making your own. This is just a starting point. So this is the um, bouncing ball demo. And from here you should take and make it better. Add scoring, add a second player, add a timer. There's tons and tons of stuff you can do. And I want you to explore and play with this and get used to scratch.